Hey guys, in this lecture, let's discuss about setup and hold time for both flip flop and latch. You know, right? Flip flop is edge triggered, while latch is level triggered. Before starting this lecture, let us revise our previous lecture. Previously, we had discussed about combinational circuit. Here, we consider two parameters they are propagation delay maximum and propagation delay minimum. Propagation delay maximum is also called as critical part delay. I forgot to mention here. Critical part delay. Where propagation delay minimum is also called as contamination delay, right? And you know how to calculate these two parameters. Now, in this lecture, let's define some parameters for flip flop and latch. After that, we will see how to calculate the timing. This is a D flip flop. Similarly, this is a D latch. Let me write both of the things here. This is D flip flop and this is D latch. The difference is in the flip flop during the edge transition, whether it may be a positive edge or negative edge, only during this transition the data will change. I mean only during this transition whatever be the input here that will propagate to the output it won't see any changes in the input D during this level or this level it will only see changes in the input D at the output only during transitions so there are two types positive edge triggered and negative edge triggered so in this case we are considering positive edge triggered T flip flop right Next, what about latch? So, this is level triggered. Let us take for example, this is a post to level triggered latch. So, whenever the level is post to, whatever the changes in the input T, those will be propagated to Q. Right? So, I have indicated with green ink here because this is a positive edge trigger. Sorry, positive level trigger. It can also be negative level trigger. So this is the function of T latch. Now let us define setup and hold time. So if you see here, I have drawn the timing diagrams for both flip flop and for latch. Let us see them once. So whenever the clock is supposed to, whatever the signal is there at D, that will be propagated to the Q. So you may be wondering, here we got the clock, D is A here, then Y is Q changing after some time, right? I will explain it now. That is because the gates which are present inside the flip flop, that is nothing but a combinational circuit. So, whenever the clock is positive edge triggered, it takes some time for the input T to propagate to Q through the combinational circuits. So, generally, that is called as clock to Q delay. Whenever the clock is triggered, it takes some time for the output Q to change. So, from here to here, this is called as clock to Q delay. 
and I explain why it is happening. Now let us define setup and hold time. For the output Q2 is table or to detect T, the input T should not change for some time before the clock edge and for some time after the clock edge. That is in this range our input T should be stable. Then only Q can detect T. So let us see an example. Here clock edge is happening. Before some time input is stable and after some time also input is stable. That is the reason this D got detected by Q, right? We are getting A here. Now let us see this clock. Before some time B is stable and after some time B is stable. That's why Q again detected T. Now let us take this clock edge. Q is supposed to detect C, but if you observe here, before some time this C is not stable, it is changing here. That's why our output is undefined. It won't detect C. Now let us define the definitions. Setup time is the minimum time for which the input should be stable before the clock edge. So let me write this thing. Setup time is minimum time for which input should be stable before clock edge. And hold time is minimum time for which the input should be stable after clock edge. This is hold time, this is setup time. Hold time is minimum time for which input should be stable after the clock edge. Right? So in this timing diagram, D is the input. For this clock edge, setup and hold time is not violated. And for this clock edge also, setup and hold time is not violated because input B is stable here and here. But if you see this clock edge, setup time is violated. Input C is not stable before the clock edge. That's the reason our output Q cannot read C. Now this is the definition for the flip-flop. Let us see the same definition for a latch. Now flip-flop needs to remember the data after the clock edge, right? While coming to the latch, it needs to remember the data after its level. I mean, it needs to remember data starting from here, right? So, this will be the setup time, this will be the hold time. The data which it want to remember that should be stable before this transition and that should be stable for some time after the transition also then only it will remember the data so this is setup time for latch and this is hold time for latch let us see a typing waveform this is our input t it is changing in this manner. So let us see the output Q. Initially, we don't know what is the output. So whenever there is a positive level, output will replicate D, of course, with some delay. So here we are having A, we got A. And here we are having B, we got B. If you see at this transition, our input B is stable before and after. That's the reason our output is also having B after the ending of post level, right? Remember B. 
Now, if you see this case, this is posture level. We have B here. We also have B here. And while ending of this transition, the input C is stable before and after the edge, right? So you remember C. What? What if input is changing here, like this? C. Now you want to remember C, but it is violating the setup time. It is not stable before this edge transition. That's the reason our output will be undefined in this case. But here there is no violation. That's why we are getting the output. So this is the way we will define the setup time and hold time for a latch. For example, what if the latch is of negative level like this. Now oh, don't see the timing waveforms, these are for posture level. We will just define the setup and hold time. So in this case, our output should be remembered after this transition, right? So that's why this will be setup time and this will be hold time. Again, the definition remains same. Minimum time, the input should be stable before the clock edge. And minimum time, the input should be stable after the clock edge, right? So this is how we define setup and hold time for a flip flop and latch. I have not written for flip flop here. This is setup time and this is hold time. Right? Yeah, that's it for this lecture. In the next lecture, we will see some circuits by combining two flip flops, by combining a flip flop and latch, and then we will see setup time violation and hold time violation and how to fix them. That's it for today. Bye bye.